Hello everyone, Jonathan Casey here with Mercury's Messenger Astrology. So, um, this date came to my attention and I wanted to check it out and share it with you guys. Um, here, let me go to it here. So the date that I want to talk about is May 14th. Now, this meme came up. Did you know that there is a saint by the name of Corona? She is the saint of plagues and infectious diseases. She is also to be worshipped from Mars until May. Her feast is May 14th, and that is when the Pope has a global education alliance meeting with the world leaders on how to re-educate the youth of the entire world. Watch for it. Um, May 14th also happens to be the day where Israel becomes a nation. Now, I don't feel like that's as important here. Um, I just find uh, this other information kind of intriguing. Now, apparently in like Germany and places uh, around there, there are churches uh, named Corona. And apparently they're actually uh, bringing out some relics uh, that uh, commemorate her. Anyhow, um, I just kind of want to check out this May 14th date uh, to, to investigate what that's about. So here we have May 14th. And um, one of the other reasons why I wanted to check it out is because I knew Mars was leaving Aquarius on the 13th, so the day before. Um, the, on the 13th, Mars arrives into Pisces. Now, the other um, thing that I wanted to point out about Mars is Mars, just like last week, uh, entered Aquarius uh making a conjunction of Saturn at zero degrees and Aquarius we could look at as the people okay Aquarius is large groups of people Aquarius is also about technology energy waves uh, we can look at when um, Uranus entered uh, Uranus ruling uh, Aquarius right when Uranus entered Pisces, we had Fukushima, or was, sorry, when, when he entered Aries, we had Fukushima, when he entered Taurus, we had um, the volcanoes in Hawaii hitting uh, geothermal uh, power plants, so, um, you know, we can see uh, energy, radiation, uh, associated with Uranus or Aquarius. 5G technology um, are waves, uh, radiation waves. Um, internet and media come through uh, channels, waves. And Mars is a uh, planet of war and action. And Saturn is government. So we can look at uh, Mars and Saturn in Aquarius as uh, the government waging war on us through the media, through uh, 5G radiation. Um, I don't see it so much as a virus. Um, more like the promotion of fear towards a virus. The virus itself is not so much the danger. The danger is our fear uh, of it. And um, and the distraction that is allowing 5G technology to be pushed on us as of current. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. Now, the other things that I want to point out besides Mars entering Pisces, is um, Saturn and Jupiter are both stationed retrograde as well as Venus in uh, Gemini. So 
um, Saturn being the government, being the restrictions, stationing retrograde, that's, uh, I feel like the restrictions are being lifted. They're pulling back, okay? Uh, Jupiter as well in the sign of Capricorn. These two are coming to make a great conjunction this year uh, in um, late fall, early winter. I can't recall the date uh, right now. But uh, Jupiter is in Saturn's sign of Capricorn, which is the structure, the government authorities, uh, and Jupiter is expanding. So uh, the expansion of uh, our limits is also um, in retrograde. And Pluto, who is in retrograde uh, already, is uh, pulling back on the transformation. So. Uh, I feel like there's uh, some some um, a calm, you know, a pulling back a, a little bit of our uh, freedoms. Kind of, um, we're gonna get our summer. Basically, is what I kind of excuse me feel um with that going on there and venus and gemini venus being uh our values and our desires um in the sign of gemini so uh what do we value what do we desire in this duality um kind of deal so uh not uh, what we think, but how we think uh, here is is also kind of at a standstill. Mercury being in the, his own sign, um, maybe Venus allowing by being in retrograde, pulling back is. Uh, allowing us to think a little more clearly with all these planets in retrograde uh, to think a little bit more clearly um, and not have our desires and uh, all these distractions kind of getting in our way but you know Mars <clears throat> now in Pisces a little bit murky of an area right um, with the moon being our intuition and our emotions um, coming here uh, I really feel like this is kind of where the Pope is trying to um, is going to try to manipulate our our feelings um, into how he says here, right? Uh, how this says about re-educating the youth uh, of the entire world. Um, so the moon moving out of the people and what we feel into um, into dreaming uh, and we don't want our dreams influenced by a warmonger I feel like the Pope um, you know speaks of peace but is really um, a cause for much suffering in the world Is there anything else I kind of want to talk about here? Um, yeah, no, that's what I'm going to talk about for now. Um, so yeah, let's hope here that, you know, we do get somewhat of a summer, that things relax a little bit. 
Um, that the restrictions are all kind of lifted with the retrograde movement. Um, there is an eclipse coming up. I feel like that is in the next moon cycle because the moon is approaching its last uh, week and we're more than a week away here or three weeks away so this next um, moon cycle will be an eclipse anyhow that's getting ahead of ourselves but we all know how eclipse uh, points are very um, pivotal times and and this is all happening um, before that that lunar f eclipse phase cycle whatever you want to call it <laughs> anyhow uh thanks very much for watching um i hope uh this uh kind of um brings uh, a little bit of joy to know that uh there's a good chance we are going to get summer that uh, we're not going to be locked up this whole time um you know i i don't know enough about um a straw like the there's there's a straw like a, a focus of of uh health uh, related to astrology and i'm not uh i don't know that so i really wouldn't know um how to really pinpoint uh the virus in this um what i can pinpoint is uh more so the actions of our government uh, on our people how we think and all that kind of other jazz right there's nothing in going on in virgo which Virgo is uh, about health, um, but you know th there is stuff going on in the opposing sign. Uh, I just don't really see a connection there. So, yeah, that's gonna be my video. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you guys all again soon, I hope. Okay, bye for now.